Okay. Give you a little show on the completed greenhouse. Uh, got a nice TV. You can watch the news and whatnot on. And a little station over there, a nice little workstation over there. Got the hot tub in. So, and I've still got some work to do up there. It's kind of coming along. I need a ladder. I'm going to build a ladder to go up there. Um, here's the grow bed. Got potatoes, canna, and uh, carrots. And, uh, more potatoes and more canna. I just kind of experimenting right now. All this germinated. Uh, All these are too packed in here. Oh. <laughs> so they're, I'm thinning them out here as I go. Every once in a while I get a really big one. But uh, what did I do? I dropped my carrot. Oh no. What? Oh. Chickens love those. Anyway, I wanted to show you. It's getting kind of warm in here now. In the, in the afternoon it's over a hundred on that one and on this one it's showing 99 um yeah, there's some of the baby carrots there little babies <laughs> mm. so oh, I'll show you how my more handles The chickens love the greens. I just poured this deck out here. But I wanted to show you when it gets warm. I made a roll down shade. You can see the ropes here. I just kind of separate them out. And then uh Got my elevation device here. <laughs> Get up on it, and I just roll it down. And I have to relocate my device. Elevation device. You got to watch these elevation devices. They will get you. Very nice. And then, of course, these I just hook them on the door handle there, keep them from blowing anywhere in the winds too much. This one here I like to get over a little further because I go in and out here. Uh, so anyway, that'll help cool it down. Uh, oh, this is where the fish tanks. Out. I'm getting ready to. That's going to be in the fish for the aquaponics. And uh, whenever I want to fish one of them fishes out of there, I'll, I'll open up this here vent. Let's see. I got it. And that helps a lot too. I've got different positions on it. Now, It'll take you just a little bit. I've got a little circulation fan going too. I'm going to make a duct that goes from this end of the house to the other. Anyway, it's just wonderful out here. I, uh, the smell is gorgeous. Uh, I've got my watering system set up. Everything's really nice. And uh, I'm very happy. You can tell the the shadier, a little shadier in here now with the 
the shade rolled down. Looks like I gotta get just a little bit adjustment down there. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. That'll help cool it down. I can always leave a door open too. This works so nice. See there, and then uh, I can cool it down right quick in here if I want to. And in the evenings, it's so nice to go out there and like look at the moon through the telescope and stuff. So anyway, the finished greenhouse is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I'm very, very happy. Uh, highly recommend. Everybody ought to have one. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Alrighty. Signing off. He's a good boy. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's in your bed. He's in your bed. Look at that. Look at that, your boy. Mr. Sticky Dickens. Mr. Sticky. Mr. Dickens. Mr. Sticky Dickens. Sticky. Hi, Sticky. Hi, Sticky. Mr. Dickens. Otherwise known as Mr. Dickens. That's him. Diggy Diggins. Da 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 da. Da da da. He's helping. He's always helping. He's such a good helper. Yep, he got claws and he knows how to use them. He just helps everything. He's helping daddy all the time. Yes, you look at him go, man. He's crazy. Look at him go, man. I <laughs> know that key. Look at him go, man. He's something else. That's that's about. That's that's about. That's about. It stinks down here. <laughs> Beat it up. I'm gonna beat it up. I beat it up and I dig and I beat him up. I claw it up. That's my job. That's why I got claws. So I, I can claw stuff really good. Dead's amplifier, dead's couch, dead's bed. Everything dead he likes. Okay. I'm good at it. I help it. And I got claws. That's what I do. I'm good at claws. That's why I'm called Sticky Dickens. Huh. Because I'm a Sticky. And I'm a Dickens.
Yeah, that uh, that kicked it off anyway. Uh, we'll have to remember we can't do that. Now we're on the battery. I'm going to go ahead and unlock and try and come out smoothly here. I'm going to try and do a little free-handed here. I want you guys to kind of get a look at the how it is down here. We'll be syncing the audio on this with our high-tech uh, uh, recorder here. And it should be give us a unique stereo. Hopefully, I'm going to try and talk to both sides there. Guess who's here? There he is. Yes, there he is. Let's see if we can keep the steady cam on the action here. Maybe we'll be able to do some slow motion or something with this. This is Mr. Dickens. Sticky, for short. Sticky Dickens. Mr. Dickens, how you doing there, buddy? He always helps me. He's always here helping me. And Caleb helps too. Caleb dug this here a little bit here. He's done a good job. And I've done most of it though here. And Sticky Dickens and Caleb help quite a bit. you doing there, Gabba? Okay. So here's looking out. This is what it is about eye level to me, I guess. I'm kind of getting a picture here. Right there. Uh, and then we'll be coming out of here. Ready? Here we go, Mr. Dickens. Hopefully I'm not shaking the cam too much. We're coming out of here. Looking There's the lunar lander. Caleb's getting ready to go to work. Everything's coming together here. There's the Ebenezer tree. Uh, we built that tree. And here is our apple tree. I spun around a little fast. I <laughs> okay. Yeah, making everybody sick here. Okay, now I just want to get a good look around my hair so you can see. Then dug all that stuff out of there. And uh, this here barrel is down there too. It's got, it was a kind of a sewer barrel, wastewater barrel, I gather. And, uh, of course, a lot of dirt, but then there's a lot of cement. Though. All this cement comes out of there. These are big hunks. Heavy. I'm telling you. Yeah. There's Mr. Dickens down here. Those are birds. See the birds there? I'm going to spin around here. What do you think, Mr. Dickens? I'm kind of quick with the pan and around, but I'll make everybody dizzy. A steady camera over here. There's a lot of business here. Alright, anyways, there's the pad. I love that. Put the drain in there and I'm ready. I don't want to try and set her in here without dropping it. Get in there locked in. Okay. There we are back where we began. And we'll stop and plug the power in because it will. I'm sure it reboots as soon as I plug the power in. We'll find out here. No, you can plug the power in, but you can't run it. All right, well, that's good. That's good to know. You got that, Mr. Dickens? Good. And don't you forget it. All right, here, I'm going to pan down and check you out there. You're a good boy. He's always helping us here. He's helping set the camera up there. He's got claws, and they work pretty good for everything, huh? You can do about anything with claws. You can claw stuff. Stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, 
stuff like that. Now we're going to try, I want to do a time lapse out of this one, we've got this on the right. Uh, so we can even do maybe try and do some slow motion. I'm going to have it let it run and I'm going to keep digging. Everything I need, I guess. No, uh, not yet. Uh, I don't know. Kind of want to do a show a little bit. Thinking about uh, doing this song here at the church for my next special. It's, uh, I don't know. Um, it, 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 it's, uh, to me, all my songs are religious anyway, but uh, this is just a song um, about. Uh, Sometimes I think all of us, uh, at one time or another, you know, feel like we're going under. And, uh, and sometimes we are going under. Anyway, uh, that's what this song's about. It's called Lifeline. It's an interesting song.
up sinking fast. Please throw me a line so I can get past these rough waters. Oh, please throw me a lifeline before I go under. Throw me a lifeline before I go Maybe someday you'll need help and
Hey, good morning. It's, uh, hey, uh, I'm gonna document this here event. You know, we I've been digging this hole, digging for a cellar, and it started out it was a barrel down there I wanted to get out. I don't know if you can see it back there, but it's over there. 55 gallon barrel that was buried down there for the drainage system, evidently. Anyway, all this cement came out of there. Sorry, panning so fast, it's ridiculous. Morning, Kitty. Anyway, it's been quite the adventure, digging it all by hand, mostly for my health. 
and my mental health and physical health. And uh, I'm just getting down there about cellar death. I'm getting on nine feet. I want to go another foot or so. And the neatest thing happened. I had to dig out the last corner, you know, the very last corner. And it's been quite a bit of digging, a lot of work. I ran into this. I'll go ahead and take you down there so you can see it. Uh, it's another little God's miracle for me. Evidently, God put this here for me, whatever it is. And I was meant to find it. I dug here for no good reason, I guess. Brad, I uh, you just, I can't wait. To. Anyway, uh, praise God, the one. And I just wanted to make sure that, uh, here, we got to look at this. It looks like, uh, it looks like we hit a, the first thing, it was a, a poured floor just like I want to do, exactly what I want to do. One of the red brick their walls up and put a cap on it. Yeah. So they did what I want to do already. I just happened to run into theirs. It's a miracle. Genuine miracle. Praise God. Thank God the one. Straight down. Straight down. He's digging a stairway to heaven. And look what he found. And he's digging a stairway. Oh, all right, well, hello, good day. I, uh, I want to share this moment in my life, at least share it with myself in the future, to remember this special, very special day. Um, I'm going to take you down here and hopefully not trip people. It's been quite a project. Yeah, as I say, Charlie, I want you to remember this day. Ah, the magic is right now. We don't know what's in here. We don't know. It could be anything. It could be nothing. Probably is nothing. But this is the magic of life. This is one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my life. And, and that's saying something because I've had a lot of wonderful things and great things happen to me in my life. And I gotta say, this is up there. As far as the magic ones, looks like this is the big one, maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, never had anything like this before. God. God evidently wanted me to find this thing, whatever it is. I'm just getting ready. This is the moment in my life where I'm getting ready to... I'm going to cut in here. Let's see what's in there. I've already looked what I can. But now I've dug this out, and it's been quite a day, a lot of digging. Uh, today's uh, Mike's birthday, May 6th, uh, 2019. And I dug this here hole for no real good reason. Right here, for no good reason. God, the nothing, the everything, guided me. And I'm about to find out what's on the other side of it. So I want you to remember this, Charlie, no matter what's in there. You just remember this moment. The magic is right now, no matter what it is. All of our dreams. Who knows? Who knows? Thank you, God. That's so blessed. Anyway, this I had to take this one. Right here. Oh, no. That's where we're going to go in and see what's going on, what it is. 
It appears like it's about four foot wide, five foot tall, and we're not sure how deep. That's what we'll find out when this breaks out here. Hopefully we won't cause a cave in or nothing. That's uh end of tunnel in there a little ways. Anyway, isn't this something? Isn't this the most wonderful thing that you've ever ever like imagined? What could it be? They built it just like I intend to build what I'm building here in my cellar. So, anyway, I just wanted to share this moment. Very special moment in the life of Charlie Fanny. It's been a special life, so... It's just something really... Really, really special. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you, God. Anyway, now I'm going in and I'm going uh, to turn this off and find out. Lumpy. tools before we go down. Looks pretty soupy. <sighs> we'll be able to take a bit of time <sighs> before we get started. I believe I'll have me a, a, a drink and a toke before we lay these. We'll get a good five or six blocks out of this bucket. 
Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh, it looks like it anyway. I know. It's not the best cement block wall work that you've ever seen. Without a doubt, it's some of the worst you've ever seen in your life. I, uh, I don't really care. I like it. I'm happy with it. And I think it'll finish out nice when I get it up. Let's see. It's been a god-awful amount of work, you know. Just digging this hole by hand. And then pouring this floor. And then just getting this block up to where we got it now. Ah, what a lot of work it is. It is. There we go. Ready to go pretty quick here. I believe we'll start on that end. And we'll try and clear that up. No? That's not wise. We'll just leave that to be. And we'll run it out from this end, like we were thinking. We've already thought about this, I think. And that's why I'm not going to think about it again. I know. The more you look at it, the worse it gets. That's why I'm going to turn this off. Uh, old visual ado there. This one looks a little better. <laughs> this is the wall you saw there was the bad wall. Anyway, it's not that bad for a first wall. Well, actually the first wall came out better than that one, but anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay.
tub out of service because frankly it was too expensive right now for me to mess with and uh, that's really a bummer but um, my plan is to before this is over uh, have solar on top of this um, my construction methods are 
um, not orthodox, you know. Um, but uh, I've got the frame up for the greenhouse, including the doors and the latches and the rough joists. I'll show you how my little idea for a latch there. I've got a nice lock that I can lock or unlock from the outside. And it slides open. And that's pretty slick. I, uh, getting ready to paint. And, um, oh, actually, I've got one last component that I have to, before I can sheet the, with the plastic, the greenhouse polycarbonate, I, uh, I need to make slats to, uh, where the seams are at and the ends of the polycarbonate will be sandwiched. And then that should make it nice. And, uh, so it's going to be a nice greenhouse. I guess you can see it there. And like I see up on top, I'll go ahead and put a uh, solar cells. I figure I can get enough to up there to run the, the hot tub show. Here's the chicky bubs, all my babies that I hatched. They're doing fine. They're all getting their voice now. Yeah, there's my, there's my boy. There's my boy. There's, uh -huh. there's my girls. Yes, I can put <laughs> There's a mean mama. That's a mean mama. All these chicks had a good daddy and a mean mama. And they're good chicks. They're good chicks. Yes. Look at how big some of them are, sir. Hey, they're backing at the camera there. I'll go ahead and set you guys here while I go check the eggs and stuff and fill the water. back there. The fire pit's going to go away because the plastic will melt on the side of the greenhouse. So at least it's going to have to be moved at the least. But anyway, very nice. Greenhouse should be sheeted hopefully before the weather gets too bad. I'm hoping. Or try. We'll see how it comes out there.
You left me, and I can't feel you. Tears dry up and the clocks wind down, and it's beautiful. I'm just doing this for the soundtrack, real quick, sure. A little greenhouse video. Um, it's a song I love. Oh, and I uh, wanted to do a final recording on anyway.
Cause the crossroads was crossed They hung my heart on my bosom All seemed like it was lost But the Christ who I caused him Who won the war Has written in the stars and love give us peace and love above it's us peace and love peace and love As you would have them do unto you Love your friends Love your enemies too Peace and love Give them peace and love God below Bears us peace and love Peace and love oh, oh, oh. Oh. Mm -hmm.
us love your enemies too peace and love give them peace and love God above it's a peace and love peace and love oh, 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 oh. peace So that'll be the soundtrack on the greenhouse video. So a good day. Have a good day. God bless us on this day, I hope. All right. Well, it's been a long day. Let's check it out there. There's the chickies. <laughs> Pretty good, doesn't it? Let's show you how I got the door here. Locked up. That one's locked up. Got a little bit of dirt on that one. Gotta clean it up, but it's pretty nice in here. In the greenhouse. <laughs> Isn't that going to be something? I'm going to side all that in. Finish that up with metal. And that side with metal. And it will all be covered in there. So we're making big progress. Greenhouse.
Okay, I wanted to show you. Oh, uh, you remember we built the the back door here. Uh, this worked out real nice. And then what I did in my spare time here. So, see, it's 101 degrees in here. It's kind of warm. I'm gonna leave the door open. Got to keep the cats out of here though. They uh, always messing around. See there, I got my carrots. They're getting pretty close. And I had a couple plants come up. I tried to pot this one and it didn't respond well at all. I'm not sure if I drowned it or what I did wrong, but it sure seems to have not taken too well. Hopefully it'll survive. Those are the hardest hardy plants I've ever seen. Got potatoes there. Nice little workbench. Oh, clock. Nice little get together there. The fish tank will be up here. I got my TV now. Anyway, I wanted to show you the, the real special trick here is uh, let me put my shoes, chicken shoes over here. Because uh, this here now it was not easy to build this. This is a 3,000 pound door. Not stinner. Yep. Okay. 3,000 pound doors is. That's something. Anyway, you know, I can move it by hand, but I got this just in case. That's kind of scary. Anyway, see here? Got 330 gallons of water. That's good water. Uh, got food. Got a laptop. Got movies. Got a sewer. Got a toilet. Uh, what more do you need? I got it all here. I got your coffee maker too. Got the old bug out bag there too, and everything else. It's pretty cool. So, anyway, yeah, that's what I did in my spare time while I was doing everything else. Oh. Oh. It's sealed up so tight now, though, it's kind of wild. I'll go ahead and show you here. Maybe you can see it from there. Let's see here. That's what 
3,000 pounds, mind you. Okay. Ain't that something? Done that on my spare time. Okay. There's the door. Sure is nice in here. It's kind of warm right now, though. I'm going to try and ventilate. Okay. Uh, talk to you. Okay. Here's the progress in the greenhouse. Give you a look around here. Got TV. The door works really good. A little stiff, but it'll loosen up. There's the grow bed. Got potatoes and carrots and fauna and uh, whatnot growing in there. Yeah, it's just experimental at this stage. Uh, here it's a, I'm going to show you it's a hundred and three. So uh, what I got to do is I got to cool it down. I turn the fan on here and that'll work on it. I have this vent that I put in here to where I can open it up and it's got adjustable uh, you know places to open it up to and that's helpful but uh, what I wanted to show you though which I, <laughs> I I'm a sight so I'm not gonna I gotta put my shoes on here okay I don't want to get in the picture too much right now I wanted to show you what the next deal was here up on the top of the greenhouse anyway uh, I'm getting ready to or a little patio sidewalk there. That's what I'm supposed to be doing now. Oh, there's the chicky bubs. If anybody's interested, they're doing great. Too many roosters. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyway, what I have when it gets too hot to immediately let the temperature off is a roll down shade. And, uh, it's got these ropes here and pulleys up there. Um, I just tied some clove hitches in there. About need both my hands to, to get it undone here. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. All right. Kind of separate them so they don't get tangled up. See there. And then what I do is just get up there and roll it down. device <laughs> yeah okay you gotta watch those elevation devices they'll get you okay. and there we go now then I just take the strings down there and It's all good. I, uh, if the wind gets to blow and I can do the quickie. But there you go, and then shade, pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I want to show you my door there. It's pretty nifty. Throw the locks on it, bang them. All right. So anyway, temperature's already dropping. You can see there it's 102. And this is what it looks like in the shaded version. And the uh, plants are still getting a lot of sunshine. So is Boo Boo. Hey Boo Boo. There's Boo Boo Bears. Yeah, she's my Boo Boo. My lovely Boo Boo. <clears throat> Anyway, somebody has been in my plants. I'm not happy about that. Boo boo, get out! You guys, I better not smell no cat urine. So much trouble. Okay. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. Stop. Stop. I see it with my tongue. Thank you, God, for raising me so I could be closer to.